So usually I, I just start my intro by, by saying something that refers to the video that you're about to watch so you could just be on time, right? But this intro is going to start with an actual question. My question is this. Listen to the video, watch the video, do whatever the video does, and then I want you to go down into the comment section and I want you to just in, give me a real good answer. Do you think Judge Ingelmeyer should be upset at Cool to Be? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Judge Engelmeyer, that is the Treyway judge that everybody knows due to the Rico case is pissed off at cool to be okay so there's a good chance that cool to be and i'm not, i do not think that this is funny i do think that us as people are sometimes our worst enemies but i do not think that this is funny so apparently um as everybody know judge ingelmeyer in his uh you know just you know doing judge ingelmeyer stuff decided that he was gonna let cool to be um out of uh prison until his sentencing out of jail until his sentencing because of the COVID 19 situation so he said you know what i'm gonna let you go home and uh home confinement instead of you know in prison therefore you can see your family and everything else before your sentence that, that that's pretty cool right that's kind of dope but apparently what has happened is cool to be is on social media at parties I'm going to say that again. Cool to be who was let out of jail so he can self-isolate, <laughs> self-isolate, so he could um, self-quarantine and so he could do it with his family. So, that, you know, before he actually gets sentenced, he could be with his family. The judge decided that he was going to let him go home so he can quarantine at home with his family. What cool to be is seen on tape and on video doing is partying and being at parties is the exact opposite of being in quarantine. So anyway, and the paperwork reads, the pretrial services officer has received and forwarded to the court a video that appears to be Kintia McKenzie, apparently taken shortly after his release from federal custody this week on the grounds that his presence in the Metropolitan Correctional Center pending sentencing exposed him to an outsized risk of contracting COVID-19. The video appears to reflect Mr. McKenzie partying in very close proximity to numerous others the court staff is finishing pardon me the court staff is furnishing a copy of the video to counsel by email the video is of concern to the court for two reasons the first the video may reflect one or more violations of the defendant's terms of temporary release with which the court has admonished mr mckenzie he must scrupulously comply or otherwise face remand second the conduct depicted in the video suggests a complete lack of concern by mr mckenzie for avoidance of contagion of himself and others it appears inconsistent with the health and safety justification his counsel articulated in seeking and on which the court relied in granting Mr. McKenzie temporary pre-sentencing release from the MCC on conditions including home incarceration, that his high-risk medical condition required his separation from others to minimize the risk of contracting COVID-19. The court directs the government and defense each submit a letter due Friday, April 3rd at 5 p.m. setting forth their views on this matter.
counsel's letter ought to be addressed. The above, I do not know what the, what in the hell? Inter, early, inter, uh, whatever. The above concerns <laughs> and to set out their views on the court's appropriate response, the court expects that the government's letter will also set out the views of pre-trial services to assure that the letters reflect an orderly and complete exchange of views. The court direct that the government and defense counsel confer by phone by no later than 11 a.m. on Friday, April 3rd, 2020, to share their views and anticipated recommendations. So ordered Paul Engelmeyer. Now, check this out real quick, just so we can be clear on a couple of things. The judge is pissed, all right? First of all, <laughs> you're kind of making them look bad. Okay, so nobody cares about making judges, police officers, none of these guys look bad. I get you. God, God, I get it 100%. But remember, this is the judge that is constantly, <laughs> he's constantly just doing shit that it seems like other judges just wouldn't do that is... Fair. I'm not saying he's favoring anyone. I don't think he's favoring anyone over anyone else. I think he's just fair. They came to him with a concern. Our client has a health concern. If he contracts COVID-19 in these situations, which he just might uh, contract COVID-19, it might it might be um a mortal thing. He, he might die. You understand? So Judge Ingelmeyer, in whatever you know, in his position as as judge decided that they were gonna let uh Kuda B go home. And when Kuda B goes home, the first thing he does is not only party, because I mean you gotta assume people are gonna party, right? But he didn't not just party. Someone filmed it and then it was uploaded <laughs> online. Now there's a whole lot that's going on that's crazy. First of all, there's a Rico that people are currently in court for. So you do know that the police is following everybody on social media, right? So your friends that you're hanging out with, they're following them. You, they're following you. You're under surveillance. You can't be that not concerned. So anyway, so apparently... Uh, this thing happened <laughs> It was brought to the judge's attention I guess yesterday or today I don't know Even the 2nd or the 3rd of July This was brought to the judge's attention This is the 3rd of July This is the 2nd of July um, And the 3rd of July Is when the judge wants to handle it So this was brought to uh, Judge Ingumai's attention Either on the 1st or the 2nd of July I have no idea This is the 3rd of July Tomorrow, Friday 3rd of July that's when they're supposed to be back in court. So he's taking this 100% serious. Um, Kuda B should have took this just as serious. We'll see what happens. Um, and I also want to add that this might have some ramifications as far as Takashi 69 getting out. I hope that it doesn't. Um, being as, I hope this doesn't help or hinder. I mean, because this is a totally different situation and a totally different person. And you should hold people accountable for their actions. So I'm hoping that this doesn't actually in no way hurt or hinder or help um Takashi 69 whether they're gonna let him out or not um I think that the state of mind that the judge already shows is that he doesn't want to keep people held up in in jail when it's unnecessary or when it can uh be a hindrance or, or when there's a clear safety concern or a health concern pardon me as far as with this COVID-19 so um I don't I just don't think that this is something or I hope that this isn't something that would affect the way that uh, another inmate or another person that comes in front of the court will be treated. I hope we just hold everybody accountable for their own actions. So um, let me know what y'all guys think. Um, and the biggest question is, if you would judge Ingelmeyer, would you be upset? Please, I want everybody to leave this down in the comment section. If you were Judge Ingelmeyer, you let somebody go home, right? During a pandemic so they could spend time with their families before they are sentenced. And then they went home and did the thing that was going to make you look foolish with, by making your decision. Would you be upset at them? I want to know. Do you think Judge Ingemeyer should or should not be pissed? Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. 
Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?